What's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a review on the orangutan skiffs. So we're out here in nature. Because longboarding is all about nature. While skateboarding is about urban city life, longboarding is about living in the woods and eating bugs. So the overall make of this wheel looks really nice. The core is nice and hard, and then you've got a really soft urethane. I, I'm looking for a wheel that will feel really smooth and be easy on my joints, but also be able to slide when I'm doing tricks like reverts and stuff on a ramp. So right now I've got Rick to Clouds on this Andy Anderson board. And they're pretty small, 50 something millimeters. There's not a lot of room, I've already been getting some wheel bite. So when I put 62 millimeter wheels on this, I might have to put riser pads on it. We'll see, I'll try it out at first without them. And if I have to, I'll put riser pads on. There's a really loud airplane or helicopter. All right. So I've got these on the Andy Anderson board right now. I'm thinking about putting them on the anti-hero because it already has kind of big wheels and I'm probably, these trucks are a little bit looser now. After uh, that video with uh, Vimo, I loosened my trucks up quite a bit. So I'm probably going to get some wheel bite on this setup, but we'll test it out and see. One more video of these wheels before they get black. So it's pretty smooth. There's a lot of rocks out here, but it's, it feels pretty good. I have to go to the post office real quick, but then I'm going to go to the skate park and try to see if I can slide these things. So the wheels were good. I skated the skate park a little bit, and they were fast. I couldn't slide. I really thought I'd be able to slide 86A. I couldn't slide the 78A, but I thought 86 would be slidable on ramps. I could not slide out of anything. Also, I was getting really bad wheel bite because I was getting wheel bite with 50 millimeter wheels on that setup. So when I put the, 80, the uh, 62 millimeter wheels on there, I was getting pretty bad wheel bite. My trucks are a lot looser now. After that one video, I really loosened them up. So it was a little bit hard to skate those wheels at the skate park, but now I'm gonna skate street with them. So that was an example of how wheel bite can be really bad. So the wheels were really nice for skating street. Obviously they were really soft, they rolled over anything, I rolled through a lot of rough, just gravel infested, rock pebble covered ground, and they handled it magnificently with flying colors. Um, they were pretty good for grinding. I didn't have any trouble getting caught up on the ledges. Now at the skate park, just doing 50-50s with coping, it was really sticky. So the wheel bite was really bad. You know, you obviously don't want to get wheel bite when you're going really fast. And I fell several times just because I had big wheels on the board. If I didn't have big wheels, I wouldn't have fallen. So having 62 millimeter wheels with no riser pads on a regular skateboard is just a little bit too big you know 60 millimeters if they're really hard it's okay i don't have any problem with that but 62 if your trucks are kind of loose and you don't have any riser pads it's just too big i like the wheels i'm gonna skate them for a long time until i wear them down to be about 58 and then i'm going to take them back to the skate park but as of right now, it's not gonna be my main skate park wheel for sure. I really thought I'd be able to slide these wheels at the skate park, but I guess I'm just gonna have to go like 90A or higher, you know, 99A, 100A. Spitfire Formula 4s is really what I have to just, I just have to ride those at the skate park. Even if they're kind of hard and rough on my knees and joints, that's all I can really ride because I have to be able to slide. Without being able to power slide, nothing works. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh wait, but first, it would be a great longboard wheel. Amazing. 
longboard wheel. If I was into longboarding, I would love this wheel. And I'm going to ride it on cruiser boards around town because I go skating every night through the town, through the city. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, reviews, tutorials, and videos about what I'm learning as I grow as a filmmaker and a skateboarder, hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching. I scared that guy by skating. Get yoga master over here. So today I'm going to test out the orangutan skiffs on a street ledge. Soft wheels like shark wheels tend to get really sticky against street ledges and slow you down. So I feel like the good thing about these is they have this hard plastic for the core. It sticks out a little bit farther and I think they're going to slide really good.